Hello, Jeff Darrington, Senior Technical Marketing Manager for Greylog. Today we're going to have a quick preview of search and dashboards. Looking at search, why is search used? While well, search is the basis for everything in Greylog, once your logs are normalized, parsed, enriched, and categorized into streams, search can be used, for example, for threat hunting. So say I wanted to know, I've been given some information here, and I'm going to use my Illuminate Enterprise feature for Office 365 logs, and I'm going to look up anything to do with OneDrive. Here you'll see a variety of things, files being accessed. So say I'm looking up here and I see, okay, file uploaded, document.x. Okay, I wanna add that to a query. And I'm gonna add it so that anything with OneDrive and document x, document.doc shows up. Here it shows up multiple places. So perhaps I wanna check where that document is being modified. So I'm gonna scroll down here in the actual list and I'm gonna add the city name and I'm gonna say show top values. Now this document, there's an indication that this document has been modified in these different cities. So for example, if this was a shared document and you knew you had offices in Des Moines and Greenlee and Tampa, but all of a sudden there's modification of this document in Washington. Now you can look at going, okay, what's going on here? Why is someone accessing this document and further go into your search? In this case, I want to save this search. I'm going to call this a wild doc search just for now. And now this save is, this is saved. You can load it back up with any other searches that are here. The next thing I want to go through is where saved searches can now become export to dashboards. So let's go to a dashboard really quick. And let's go to our Office 365 Illuminate dashboard, which is part of our enterprise. I'm going to extend out some time on the dashboard. And as you'll see here, if we go to our overview, you're going to see a variety of things that are being captured. This dashboard represents signing successes and failures and how many tenants reporting. It also shows the activity by application with Office, and it should, it should utilize actually a our geo IP lookup and maps it for us, know where everything's coming from. And there's a variety of other, other options added to this dashboard. This dashboard could be useful in many instances in its support, exchange, support with OneDrive, changing files, variety of things. Um, other dashboards could be utilized for different processes. You could be an IT director wanting to keep an eye on some of the processes and things in the organization. You could be a DevOps team who needs to watch the application logs to understand what's going on with your code. Um, this is a good way to actually visualize what's going on and uh, gives you the ability also to show you full access logs. So the dashboard's a really great tool to indicate what's going on in your system and uh, give you the ability to represent data for the target of the audience, for example, for the directors or for SOC analysts or SOC analyst managers or anything in the environment. Thanks for watching today and happy logging with Greylog.